In some other news, invasive, unwelcomed guests have been found in Racetown Lake that could diminish its recreational value. And to help prevent them from spreading elsewhere, your help may be needed. Our Alyssa Royster caught up with the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission to hear more about this invasive species and how to help prevent their spread. They get no bigger than your thumbnail, but once zebra mussels get into a body of water, very little can be done to get them out. Unfortunately, we can't remove them from Raystown Lake. Once they're there, they're there. And once they're the damage they cause can be big. They basically filter feed. They're taking all these little particles and things like that out of the water. And that's really the bottom of the lake food chain. So it can have impacts going up that might affect, uh, in some way anyway, some of the bigger fish that folks like to catch. Aquatic Invasive Species Coordinator Sean Hartzell says he's concerned the mussels might end up affecting Raystown Lake like they did Lake Erie. They cause a lot of problems there with crusting boat, boat uh, docks, boat ramps. There's all these shells that litter the beach, and they're not pretty like the seashells you'll find at the ocean. Uh, they're small and very sharp. But as for now, he says only time will tell for Raystown. In the meantime, Hartzell advises boaters to clean, drain, and dry to help prevent them from spreading. Zebra mussels do not like high pressure water and they really don't like hot water, something that's about 140 degrees Fahrenheit or more. Um, so if you're boating on the lake, uh, go through a car wash, wash your boat. Also make sure to drain your boat as you're leaving the lake. Hartzell tells me they will be monitoring the zebra mussels and says signs will be posted around the lake on how to properly clean your boat. In Heston, Alyssa Royster, WTAJ News. Alyssa, thank you.